being selfish because I'm an innovation lead for the SAP North America practice in Capgemini, the freedom to innovate, that's what intelligent technologies bring to clients. In the past, because I used to work in ERP, you were constrained. You had tables, you had code, you had certain tools that SAP made available to you, but again, you couldn't expand beyond those. You had to be constrained somehow. So the developments were done in AVAP, and if you couldn't do a good table join, then there was performance issues, and so you had to be uh, careful about what you did. But in these days, you can innovate. You can really think of anything you can do, and there's technology already done or already available for you to do it. Uh, as the lead in North America, I work with a lot of talented young professionals in the uh, innovation space, and every week they come up with ideas, and then it's, it's interesting how do, how do they interact and how do they, they themselves um, tell each other, well, look, that is already done. There's nothing new there. And these are some ideas that I think are pretty cool, pretty revolutionary, and then, you know, when we look at it, it's already been done. So technology advances, thousands of miles every day and for us to be able to leverage that and to be able to tap on all of that potential is super exciting. So for me, intelligent technologies represent freedom to innovate. No constraints, no borders, no barriers. The sky is the limit, the art of the possible.